This is Town Square Sunday On Demand. And now, 1420 WBSM's Jim Phillips. Good morning and welcome to Town Square Sunday. I'm your host, Jim Phillips. This program spotlights nonprofit organizations that are seeking to make the South Coast a better place to live and work. And one of these organizations, for many years, has been the New Bedford Festival Theater. Over the years, the Festival Theater has created some eye-popping performances at the Zyterian Performing Arts Center in New Bedford. Uh, But as we know, with the ongoing renovation at the Z, they've had to scale back a bit, but they're still committed to live theater in our area. Its next production will be a musical, Home for the Holidays, a family fun celebration on December 21st, 4 p.m. at the newly renovated Steeple Playhouse on William Street in New Bedford. Uh, one show only. Uh, we'll talk with some of the key players in uh, in this event. Uh, Elizabeth Bentoncourt is the artistic director for the New Bedford Festival Theater. And we have with us also two stars of the show, veterans of national tours and Broadway, Aaron and Matt Ban. Welcome to you both. Thank well, you. welcome to all of you, really. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Jim. Um, so, Elizabeth, uh, talk to us first about this program. Uh, it is... One show only, so absolutely. if you're going, you better you better Everyone. buy your tickets quick. But you're tell absolutely us about it. right. Everyone has one chance to see this amazing afternoon of holiday entertainment. Um, as you said, it's called Home for the Holidays. It's going to be filled, bursting with everyone's favorite holiday songs and just a lot of, I think, laughs and banter and everything we love about the holidays. One afternoon only, and we are so excited that the show is at 4 p.m. on Saturday, December 21st. And we think, isn't 4 p.m. like the best time on the Saturday before Christmas? You could have a holiday lunch beforehand, or you could come see our little show and then go out for a holiday dinner afterwards. You can bring the kids. It's family friendly. We might even have a visit from Santa Claus. So definitely keep that in mind. That is a celebrity that yeah, we are. We were pretty get. excited to get. Yeah, yeah he, we thought he'd be get. booked, but no, yeah. <laughs> he loves some time for us. Yeah. We appreciate him for that. Uh, Aaron, uh, you and Matt are husband and wife. Indeed. Okay. Yes. Did you meet strong. on the stage? We did in a way. We met in college. So we both went to Wagner College on the Isle of Staten in New York City. <laughs> um, we met there and have basically been together ever since. Uh, together while we were on the road, together while we're apart. We planned our wedding working on two separate cruise ships in two separate oceans. So there's stories abound, but uh, we're very happy to have landed here on the South Coast and to be reconnected with Festival Theater and to put this really fun and festive afternoon together. So that's the personal side. Tell me about the professional side, mm-hmm. Matt. You you two have worked together often? You know, not as often as we would have liked throughout our careers. I mean, a lot of the times we would book separate jobs. We would take us out of town to two different places. Like Aaron mentioned, we were on two different oceans planning our wedding. So part of the n- nice thing about doing something like this and a lot of the stuff that we've done uh, since we've moved out of the city is we get to create shows together and perform together, you know, by our own choice. You know, it's, it's something that we didn't get to do very often. The, the industry wasn't always as kind to put two married people together. Right. So now we get to choose that. We get to do it ourselves. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and it's a nice thing. And we both have a history of performing in New Bedford, you know, so so to be able to do that as often as we we are up here now, it's 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 really we're very lucky. Yes. Aaron, you've and, and you've you, both of you have done festival theater before? In in our way. So I my festival theater journey has been long and deep. I started as an apprentice in high school, mm-hmm. kind of rolled up to the loading dock of the Zyterian and asked them if I could hang out with them that summer. And the rest is history. So I worked backstage as a high school kid when I graduated from college. I was in the production of Les Miserables they did that summer, which was kind of a springboard for my whole career at that point. Mm -hmm. And now that we've moved out of the city, come back to the South Coast, uh, Matt and I are both now on the board of Festival Theater, Mm -hmm. the newly minted vice president of the board. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. (laughs) Um, So uh, we are just really happy to be able to give back to an organization that's given us so much. And we're really happy to share that with the community. Matt, we've heard... uh... Uh, Elizabeth's uh, description of mm-hmm. this show. Um, 
I'm sure yours won't differ much, but it might differ a little bit. T- tell me a little bit about what you like about this show. What I like about the show is, is first of all, it's very celebratory. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you're coming to hear all of the classic Christmas ballads, uh, you may be a little disappointed. <laughs> there, there will be some, but but the idea of this was to treat this like we're welcoming everybody into our living room at Christmas time, and now much more literally because you'll see when you come the the way the the set is. But um, you know, we this idea of the old Christmas specials, you know, the Andy Williams specials and things like that, mm-hmm. really giving people an opportunity to come home. For the holidays and so that was the idea and, and you know and, and we have some really great special guests who are going to be stopping by knocking on our door visiting for christmas maybe some carolers um we have abby casey coming to join us who is also a member of the board who's performed this past summer in nonsense at festival theater um we have uh dory rubico who is not only a a wonderful local musician with ties to the Zyterian, but also Aaron's godmother and Mm -hmm. aunt. (laughs) And her son, Ian Leger, the punk cellist, who has a massive following on social media. um, And we've performed with him many times. So it literally is a family spectacular. (laughs) We're we're inviting so many family members to join. And we're lucky to have a very talented family. Um, Yeah, so so it's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of fun, and there'll be a sing along at the end too, which is something that everyone loves the holiday oh, yeah. sing along. Mm-hmm. And I'd like to tease what Ian Leger, the punk cellist, and Matt are going to work on for the show, mm-hmm. which is a rendition of The Grinch, oh, which yeah. is one of my favorite mm-hmm. songs and my kids' favorite songs oh, yeah. at Christmas time. You can't beat that melody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, uh, for those who don't know, and I don't know, who would not know about the Festival Theater, or at least heard the name, uh, it, it was uh, uh, operated or directed, or it was an Armin Marshan thing. It sure it was, with, and along. still is. Okay, um, so tell yeah. us about the organization now. Our organization, New Bedford Festival Theater, was actually founded in 1990 um, by Mr. Armin Marshand, who served as the executive producer of the company for over 30 years, alongside his partner, George Charbonneau, who served as the artistic director of the company also for over 30 years. Um, They have retired from those positions, but they remain on our board of directors to advise us. And it's really, it's helpful to get all that history of the organization. And they've just been two um, such standout community members in the New Bedford area. Um, I am now, at the helm of the ship that is New Bedford Festival Theater. I'm the producing artistic director. We combined the roles of producer and artistic director into one lady, and that is me. Mm -hmm. Um, And yes, we're in an interesting time right now. The Zyterian, which is our home base, is closed for renovations. Um, But we were so excited that, as you mentioned, this Steeple Playhouse, this beautifully renovated building in New Bedford that is home to your theater, is also a venue that is uh, that is taking in performing arts organizations and we're able to rent out the space. We were there this past summer for our Nonsense production um, mm-hmm. to standing ovation audiences for eight shows, and we're excited to be there again for this show, Home for the Holidays. It's the perfect, um, beautiful spot. It's an old church that's been renovated to a performance venue, um, and it's perfect. As Matt said, it's, it's a great little spot to invite everyone in to our lives and share some holiday warmth with everyone. So, uh, although the Steeple Theater is a great place and it's, it's wonderful they've saved that building and all of it, uh, I, I'm sure uh, you, you're, you're anxious to get back to the Zyterian. You're absolutely right. We miss the Zyterian. Um, we're the resident theater company there mm-hmm. as the only professional theater company on the south coast of Massachusetts. And and we do miss it dearly. It affords us the ability to do much bigger shows because there's 1,200 seats in the Zyterian. And a, and that, that lends itself to big, big musicals with 25 people tap dancing up on stage and a chorus line. Um, so while we've taken the opportunity to produce some smaller uh, musicals at Steeple Playhouse, and we will be at Steeple Playhouse again this coming summer of 2025 mm-hmm. with our with another small musical called the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, <laughs> uh, which is a great, great small musical 
that we would actually wouldn't be able to produce at the Zyterian because it, it requires a smaller venue. So it's exciting for us to branch out and do these smaller shows. But yes, we cannot wait to be back at the Zyterian. We're crossing our fingers for 2026. It's looking very, very likely that that's when we'll be back at the Z. Um, I was just at the Zyterian yesterday. I got to put on a hard hat and tour the renovated facility. And let me tell you, it is surreal to be in there and to see all the seats bulldozed out. They're putting in a whole new orchestra pit. Uh, it's going to be really quite amazing when it's done. And this, that beautiful building will be even more beautiful. I'll take the time now to announce that uh, beginning next week, we'll be having a monthly report from Rosemary Gill on the renovations, reconstruction of the Zyterian. We're looking forward to it. It is as much a part of New Bedford as anything else, this, this theater for sure. And it's an important part of the cultural experience in New Bedford. So hopefully uh, it can be done sooner rather than later. We'll hear more every month from uh, Rosemary Gill. You are listening to Town Square Sunday. I'm Jim Phillips. My guests are Matt and Aaron Van, stars of the upcoming New Bedford Festival Theater production, Home for the Holidays, December 21st, 4 p.m., at the Steeple Playhouse on William Street in New Bedford, and they are joined by Elizabeth Betancourt, who is the New Bedford Festival Theater's artistic director. Um, so, Matt, in terms of uh, uh, this show, is it a story per se, or is it just a, a group or a, a, a number of Christmas-themed performances? What is there a story behind it? There's, it's less of a story and more of, you know, I had mentioned before, um, we're, we're basing the idea more off of those, uh, those nostalgic Christmas specials. Sure. Um, so a, a little bit of a, a little bit of an arc, but you know, it may, it less about a story and more about who's coming to visit and <laughs> what are we celebrating and, you know, taking the opportunity to, uh, to tie some of these Christmas songs into personal moments in our lives um, we'll be sharing some personal stories about our holiday traditions. Mm -hmm. Our guests will all be doing the same. So it, it, more of a more of a Christmas review with a light structure to it. <laughs> okay, um, Aaron, what will people see in, in this performance? What sort of uh, is it going to stay on one set, one that that living room stage? Yes, it will be a very cozy, very festively adorned living room scenario uh, there is a well people will be knocking on our door to come into the celebration mm -hmm. and we just want it to be a warm and welcoming atmosphere for people of all ages our three-year-old twins will be there so please feel free to bring your children so they have someone to play with sure. <laughs> it's a runtime that is completely full it won't leave you wanting too much more but it will keep in mind the you know everyone has plans it's the week before christmas we want to just give you somewhere to gather and celebrate together and then go on your merry way matt have you had a chance to rehearse yet at the steeple uh oh not at the steeple we did get to do um some promo videos there just a couple yes, days ago today? two days ago oh. i think uh, who knows anymore <laughs> <laughs> once you have twins every everything time is relative exactly. um uh, we haven't had a chance yet, but we're we're really looking forward to getting in there. They have a they have a your theater has a production going on right now. They do. So, um, so please go see that. I mean, as much as we're championing our own our own productions, you seeing live theater in general is such an important thing. So please go out and support any live theater you can. Um, but yeah, we're we're really excited to get in there and start rehearsing and working mm -hmm. on uh, really staging it out and. Yeah. What's exciting about casting a married couple is we know they can rehearse in their kitchen. <laughs> we in know the they car. can rehearse in the car on a long mm -hmm. car ride. Until the toddlers say, please stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's been, uh, that's a wonderful thing to, uh, I, I, I'm sure it'll work. Uh, this isn't about necessarily about a Christmas story. It's about a Christmas celebration. And uh, that's uh, that's that's a great thing too. So, how can people get tickets uh, to Home for the Holidays, uh, Elizabeth? Again, only one show, December twenty first at four p.m. at the Steeple Playhouse. How can people get tickets? We would love people to visit our website, which is nbfestivaltheater.com. That's nbfestivaltheater.com. 
You go right to our website, you click on the button that says buy tickets, and you'll be good to go. As you said, it's one afternoon only, Saturday, December 21st at 4 p.m. Tickets are only $25. It's a steal to see the talents such as Aaron and Matt Ban for that price. And um, they will go fast. It's a small venue. We're actually about halfway sold out right now. Mm -hmm. So do not wait. Make your plans today. There you go. I mean, that's that's really the best uh, advice you can get. Don't wait around. The venue is a little less than 300 people, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's you're thinking about going. Now's the time to do it. Um, and uh, check it out at NewBedfordFestivalTheater.com. Uh, a happy holiday season to all of you. My guests have been Elizabeth Betancourt, who's the artistic director for the New Bedford Festival Theater, and Aaron and Matt Van of the New Bedford Festival Theater. They are the stars of Home for the Holidays, coming up the 21st, 4 p.m. at the Steeple Playhouse on William Street in New Bedford. Thank you all for coming in. Have a great show on the 21st. Thank Thanks, you, Jim. Jim. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Again, tickets available at the New Bedford at the website, newbedfordfestivaltheater.com. Thank you. Stay with us. There's much more to come. Town Square Sunday. Don't go away. This is the story of the one who, as a maintenance specialist for a historic high-rise, knows that vintage charm historically needs constant attention. Which is why, when it's time to upgrade turn-of-the-century mechanicals, they turn to Granger, With easy access to a million-plus products and the scale to deliver when and where you need them, the right tools and supplies are never far away. So the one can keep that vintage building running like new. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done.